Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to set up SAML single sign-on for ASP.NET web applications using Auth0 as IDP. Let's get started. Follow the instructions in the link displayed on the screen to install the Mini Orange ASP.NET Samuel module, or you can access the link in the video description for more information. Once the plugin is installed, open your browser, and browse the connector dashboard with the URL showing on the screen. If the registration page or login page pops up, you have successfully added the Mini Orange SAML SSO connector to your application. Register or log in with your account by clicking the Register or Login button to configure the module. After login, click on Plugin Settings tab, and you will see the Identity Provider list here. This module is compatible with all the IDPs showing on the screen, and all other SAML compliant IDPs. If your IDP name is not on the default list, you can configure your IDP using the Custom IDP option. Select Auth0 as IDP from the list and click on it. For ASP.NET SAML configuration, you will need IDP metadata, which can be found from your application admin dashboard. Here, we will be using Auth0 as IDP. Let's configure the Auth0 as IDP. Log in to your Auth0 admin account. Now, click on Applications under Applications section. Click on Create Application button. A new window will pop up. Enter a name for the application and select Regular Web App. Click on Create button. Now go to the Connection tab. Here make sure the Username Password Authentication option is enabled. Go to the Add-ons section. Enable SAML2 Web App option. Click on Settings option. Here, you need to fill up the application callback URL, audience and recipient which you will get from the SP metadata. For SP metadata go to the ASP.NET SAML module. At the right side of the screen, you will find the service provider metadata. You can have three options to provide the metadata to your IDP. Copy the ACS URL, paste the ACS URL under the application callback URL, and the recipient field in the Auth0. Now, copy the SP Entity ID. Paste the SP Entity ID under Audience field in Auth0. Scroll down and click on Enable button. After that click on Save button. Go to the Usage tab. You can find the Identity Provider metadata here. Click on Download button to download the IDP metadata. Now, go to the ASP.NET SAML module. Click on Upload IDP Metadata button. Click on Choose File option. Select the IDP metadata which we have downloaded from Auth0. Click on Upload button. You can see the URLs or auto field. Scroll down and click on Save button. After that click on Test Configuration button to test the configuration. Enter the Auth0 user credentials and click on Continue. On successful configuration, you will get the user attributes. Now, you can click on Click Here link or you can also click on Continue SSO integration button to further continue with the SSO integration. It will redirect you to the integration code section. Just copy paste the code snippet, wherever you want access the user attributes. I have pasted the code snippet here. Now, we will perform the SSO, for that, add the URL which is showing on the screen as a link in your application from where you want to perform SSO. As an example, I have used the SSO link as a button in my code. Let's see how it works. Go to your application URL, and you will be able to see the SSO link button, which we have added for SSO. Click on the SSO button. Now, log in with your Auth0 credentials. You have successfully logged into your ASP.NET web application. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at securify.com.